to another episode of the Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Kith collaboration with New Balance, this time on the 990 V2 in the Cyclates colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming up that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. As mentioned earlier today, we are going to be talking about the Kith collaboration. This is the second unboxing I've done in this series. So if you have not seen my 990, v4 definitely go back check that out i'm awaiting my v3 and tomorrow uh the dusty pink will be releasing which is the v1 uh today we'll be talking about the sick latise and this is a really really cool colorway so excited to go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really really bright fun colorful uh, silhouette for the summertime and then we will conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market all right so let's jump into the overview again uh this is a really special collaboration uh ronnie is celebrating the 10th anniversary of kith as well as he has been doing partnerships with new balance since 2011 and the 990 is celebrating its 40th anniversary which is pretty crazy to think about uh and he is doing again four different versions so we've got the v1 v2 v3 and v4 starting backwards from the v4 and ending on the v1 so happy to have the v2 in my hand for all of you to see uh, this is just a beautiful pop of color so starting with the front of the toe box here we have this bright pop of orange and then as we work our way up to the upper we've got hits of this just nice light heather gray i tied it with the beige laces but if you don't feel like tying it with beige there are white or gray options i personally like the beige just because i feel like it really matches that pigskin suede quite nicely but it is nice to have two other options as well i do wish that this included a pop of blue or orange because i feel like i would have probably added that for the summertime uh, but other than that i do like how monochromatic this beige kind of makes it feel working our way up the 990 new balance makes Made in USA is in that just nice metallic gray threading and it's embroidered quite nicely and pops very well with the backdrop of the gray heather gray color scheme all right let's take a look at those details then move on to the side paneling So we're here with the side paneling. We do have the New Balance N that is in this nice smooth leather and white. And then around it, we've got the beige color scheme. We've got hits of that gray. And as we work our way to the back, we've got Kith with that 10th anniversary. I did bring out, actually, I realized I have the Mykonos collection uh, or piece from the Mykonos collection, which matches these to a T. It was a little too toasty to wear this out, but this matches the blue so perfectly. So I'm excited to actually pair these two together at some point in time. But we do have that Kith 10th anniversary on there. And again, that same type of 
of blue shade that we've got on the back of the heel. Working our way the other side, we've got more hits of that beige and again, that white New Balance. On the bottom for the midsole, it's nice and clean with a white tone. And on the bottom, it's finished off in a white outsole. We do have the N, which is a nice kind of teal colorway as well on the bottom there. For those of you who don't know where the inspiration of the sneaker came from, it is Mykonos. If you haven't been to Mykonos, you have to go. It's one of my favorite places to travel to in Greece. And Ronnie has spent a lot of time at a specific place, and that is the Namos Resort. I've been to the Namos Resort. It is one of the most spectacularly fun places to visit. It's right on the beach. They have amazing seafood there. There's lots of dancing and drinks going out left and right, uh, but it's just a very fun, vibrant place to be. And this definitely is reminiscent of that place. Uh, but I definitely feel like I need to go back now and actually wear these when I go back to Namos's resort. Uh, as far as the insole goes, I almost forgot, this actually has a really intricate insole. We've got some nice patterns going on here. It's almost like an abstract pattern with New Balance and Kit's dual logos on the inside. Actually, this is Namos Resort on the inside. I couldn't tell what it was for a second. This is literally what Namos's resort looks like. So they've got the red umbrellas uh, with the, looks like cabanas on the beach. So that's really fire. And you can see the boats that are coming in when you're actually sitting there having drinks and eating little bites or just like when you're tanning outside. But that is exactly what the resort looks like when you're hanging outside by the bar. So cool. I love that detail. It really is bringing me back. This was also based off of the 997.5 that was released in 2015. Same color combination, different wet but uh, definitely bringing me back to that release that popped out in 2011. As far as the box goes this again does have the silhouette on the top and then it has the same color combination going on that matches the sneaker quite perfectly. All right let's look at those last and final details. other pieces that were included with this sneaker which I love so much because you're not just getting the sneakers so you're actually getting kind of I guess a bargain value for these because you do get some socks so I definitely love how Ronnie went with really trying to match the socks with the sneaker themselves so we do have that teal and beige and that orange color scheme going on this was also a collaboration done with stance so you're really getting high quality socks here and it does come in this really cool box that has the kith dual logo with stance as well and then on top of that, you do get a duster bag. So we've got the sneakers printed on that duster bag, which I'm definitely going to be taking all these duster bags on my trip, I feel like, or my future trips, just because I love duster bags and I love keeping my sneakers off of my clothes when I'm packing and it keeps you super organized. As far as size and fit goes, the V2 silhouette is a little bit on the narrow side. I would say stick true to size. So on this one, I am a seven and a half in men's and I do like to have a little extra space in the toe box region here. So if you are someone who has a narrow, high arch feet like myself, definitely stick true to size. If you do have flatter, wider feet, this could also differentiate a size that may work differently for you. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Again, such a fun colorway. I definitely would style these probably a little differently if I was going to uh, Mykonos actually and staying at the Namos Resort just because there's sand and I'd have to have to protect these bad boys sometime. But I would definitely walk to the resort in these for sure. Um, but for my looks, I decided for the first one to keep it pretty simplistic with a nice ribbed dress. I really wanted to play off of this blue hue on the back, so I wanted to match that perfectly. I definitely think blue hues that are on the lighter side or lighter shade go quite nicely with it. Now, 
For the second look, I wanted to wear another dress, but a shorter kind of cut dress that has a nice crochet texture to it. Again, this is a very summery feel type of sneaker. So I definitely wanted to bring something that I felt like I would definitely wear in the summertime. And that had a nice mixture of the color combinations that you see here. As far as the last look, I decided to go off the orange. So I wore some nice orange pants and I wore this crochet top that actually has some oranges and whites and pinks in it, which I think paired quite nicely with this. So you let me know down below which of those three you like the best or how would you sell these? with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $225 and they're currently going between $275 to $400. All right, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode.